In this Business Tech Planet video, we'll show you how to use the new connectors or line anchors in Microsoft Whiteboard. The connectors are designed to make it easier to align and position objects in the whiteboard. Let's start by creating some shapes. We only need a square to demonstrate the connectors, as all shapes are bounded by a rectangular box, from which the reference points for the connectors are formed. We'll resize the second shape. Now, when we drag the second shape around the whiteboard, you'll see a line connector, whenever the borders of the object you're moving line up with the top, middle or bottom of a nearby object. It can also snap to the edges of the nearby shape. And you can even align where the shapes intersect. This allows you to easily place an object centrally over the corner of a different object. You can also align a shape inside a larger shape, where you can centrally align, or align the object along any of the internal borders. Connectors can also be used to gauge the distance between multiple objects, allowing you to position them equidistantly. If we try to align any three objects, you'll eventually see the connecting arrows, indicating that the spacing between the objects is equal. You can also align multiple objects by pressing Ctrl or Command, and clicking a new object to select more. Once you've selected multiple objects, they will become bound by a rectangular border. The new border will then be used to connect with other objects on the whiteboard. Currently, connector lines work with all objects, except for drawings with the ink pen. But this may be updated at some point in the future. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more Microsoft videos. And for a chance to win our monthly tech prizes, be sure to hit the link in the description and join the newsletter today.